Okay, so we're going to pick right back up where we've been talking about in Psalm 1. And this week we've been looking at um, the path of the sinners or the sinner's walk and talking about what it is to be a sinner and what the writer in this psalm is talking about particularly. So if we go back to standing submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk and what that really means. And so, again, a couple of other versions say don't take the path of sinners. Another one says stands around with sinners. And I love that, you know, stands around with sinners. And I have heard, I mean, from being a teenager, I heard people say, um, you know, you don't separate yourself from sinners. Jesus hung out with sinners. Okay, fine. I don't fault you there. I don't disagree with that statement. But hear this. Those sinners... Those people who were um, sinful and under the control of their flesh, their sinful nature without God, did not change Jesus. They left Jesus' presence changed. And so we cannot use the excuse of, well, Jesus hung out with sinners in order to make ourselves feel better and justify action that is not good. To justify um, making ourselves feel better for the people that we hang around with. We are called to be light. We are here in order to point and to glorify our Father, to point others to Jesus, that other people would see our lives and want to know Jesus like we know Jesus. So I'm not saying you have to separate yourselves. You don't ever interact with these people. What I am saying, though, is that we don't stand submissive and inactive in the journey of life with sinners, those who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. We're wrong to do that. We will not have the life, as someone puts it, of the blessed one, blessed, prosperous, enviable, um, those things that we talked about the very first bit of Psalm 1, um, happy, fortunate, prosperous, enviable. And so it, we, I'm, I am in no way saying that you should not um, communicate or that you should not um, be acquainted with or that you should not interact with those who do not know Jesus. What I'm saying is that it is our responsibility to be light to the lost. And we cannot be light to the lost if we allow ourselves to, as it says, submissive and inactive, to conform to the authority of others. Um, another definition that I read that I absolutely loved concerning this is unresisting. That we, are, we find ourselves in these situations where we know things are going on that are sinful and that they are wrong and that they are against um, uh, that they are things that God does not love and and we don't say anything about it that we are unresisting um, that we are yielded to the authority of another we have allowed those of those controlled by the flesh and the sensuality of their selfish desires um, that we have just yielded to what they want to do and we go along with it well saying that I can't tell them that's wrong well why not if our basis for believing is the Bible, and that is truth above all else, then we have reason to say, this is wrong, and I cannot agree with that. I cannot go with that. I cannot submit myself to that. I cannot be inactive. I must resist this action or attitude or whatever it may be. But we cannot allow ourselves to be submissive and inactive in the journey of life with those who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That does it, it doesn't make us any different from anybody else. There's nothing that separates us. But see, if we know Jesus, if we really know him and have that intimate relationship with him, then we know there's a better way. And we are wrong. If you are a Christian, if you um, have submitted yourself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, says, as a believer, there is a mandate on my life to lead. And if you, are, if you are a believer, 
if you, as we read yesterday in Acts um, 16, 30 and 31, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then there is a mandate on your life to be a leader. And we must not continue to be submissive and inactive in this journey of life. I, you know, we talked last week about where did, how did we get to this place? What happened to allow us to get here? It's because the church was silent and we were submissive and inactive. And we allowed things to happen in our schools and we allowed things to happen in our government offices and we allowed laws to be passed and we were submissive and inactive and did not do anything. We were unresisting and we yielded. We yielded. We cannot be inactive in this journey of life with people who don't know Jesus as Lord. We have a mandate on our life to lead. We'll pick up here again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.